Hello, and welcome to Beyond the Basics. Beyond the Basics is a series of videos designed to familiarize newer players with the ins and outs of playing League of Legends. So, let's say you've just emerged from the tutorial and you step into your first PvP match, and you've been asked to top. Well, what does that mean? Well, I'm glad you asked, because today's topic is the Lanes and Summoner's Rift. The top lane is a solo lane usually taken by a champion with good amounts of health and damage, known as tanky DPS. In a top lane, you are by yourself and must be able to protect your tower, kill as many minions as possible, and harass your opponent out of lane at the same time. Mistakes in this lane normally end up giving your opponent a huge advantage as he will quickly begin to outlevel you. This can end up costing the tower quite a bit of health, as pushes can happen very rapidly in this lane. The massive distance between the first and second towers also allows your opponents to obtain a huge amount of map control, making it a very desirable tower to destroy. The importance on this tower causes some top soul players to be very protective of their tower. Some notable top solo characters include Gangplank, Aurelia, Garen, and Cho'Gath. Mid lane is usually taken by an AP character with high burst and good harass, such as Ari, Vega, or Zareth, or Zix. In this lane, you must take great care to get as many lasses as possible because this lane receives the most gold and XP than the other lanes, allowing the AP character to hit six as fast as possible. So they deal enormous amounts of damage during early team fights. Ganking, a coordinated attack between two champions, suddenly jump at one in hopes of killing them, occurs less often here as the distance from the center of the lane to the turret is very short compared to top and bot lanes, allowing for easy escapes. Well, in this lane, your primary focus should be on last hitting as many minions as possible as harassing your opponent out of the lane once the game progresses a little bit, you should be looking to gank the other lanes, as well as assisting your team in killing Dragon when it spawns. Bot lane is usually taken by two characters, a ranged attack damage carry, and a support, or tank. In this lane, the AD carry focuses on farming as much gold as possible in order to cause massive damage in later teamfights, while the support harasses the enemy. Attempting to disrupt the enemy carry's farming while keeping their own carry alive. Ganks can be very popular in this lane, as the fight can quickly turn into a 3v1 if someone is out of position. This lane also assists in killing Dragon when it spawns, as Dragon is very close to the bottom lane. Good AD carries include Ash, Vayne, Caitlyn, and Graves, while good supports include Sona, Soraka, Yana, and Tarek. Jungle. The last character in a team will normally go in the jungle. Games with no junglers will usually send the second person top. The jungler will gain XP and gold from killing neutral minions in the jungle, looking for opportunities in the lanes to gank, allowing his team to gain a temporary dominance in the early game. They also have the task of maintaining control of buffs in the jungle, such as blue buff from the golem or red buff from the lizard. Some of the best junglers not only clear the jungle camps quickly and safely, but also have the ability to gank such as Skarner, Maokai, Udyr, and Lee Sin. All of these have which some form of crowd control abilities, such as stuns and slows to assist in ganking, in addition to area of effect abilities to clear creep camps fast. There are very specific features that help a champion be a great jungler. First, built-in shields or built-in lifesteal are some of the most important features. These allow the junglers to stay alive in the jungle and have high health when ganking. Second, Having attack speed boosts or area of effect spells help in clearing the jungle fast and making sure you take as little damage as possible from the jungle mobs. Finally, the most important thing a great jungler needs is a way to close the distance to their targets so they can quickly activate their CC abilities. As a general rule of thumb, tanky DPS will go top lane and AP character will go mid and an AD carry and support will go bot and some kind of tank will go into the jungle. Following this rule could just help your team earn a victory the next time you play on Summoner's Rift. And however though, this may change in the future so you should keep your eye out for the meta changes. We thank you for watching and ask that you please subscribe, like, and comment. Best of luck Summoners.